Alrighty, we finally have a new construction update for you guys. We have been getting so many messages on our Instagram DMs. I've even gotten some emails from a couple of you um, and comments on our videos. So I really enjoy the fact that you guys are super excited about Yukon Striker. Um, it even sounds like some of you are just as excited about Yukon Striker as I am. Um, and I am so thrilled to finally have an update for you guys. So as you're going to notice, you're going to notice a lot of work in the station area. Um, they're excavating and bulldozing the queue line. It looks like fresh cement or concrete has been poured in the queue line area leading up into the actual station area. They're digging under the storage area and under the brake run currently. Um, I believe there's going to be a ton of switchbacks there. Um, I'm forecasting probably one of Canada's Wonderland's largest queue lines. Um, and uh, on top of that, it's supposed to have a really grand entranceway. So a lot of work going on in that area. Um, there's a plumbing company on site. There's an electrical company on site. I can actually make out uh, Mr. Rooter on one of the trucks because Mr. Rooter's got that giant face on the side of the truck. That's how I know there's a plumbing company. Um, and as you can see, the vertical loop has started to take form. The support structure's up um, for the vertical loop as well. I think they're just missing one more support beam, which is on its way in. It'll be probably in tomorrow. They have four pieces, literally four pieces of Yukon Striker left until this thing is 100% complete track-wise. You have trains on site, which you guys are going to get a good view of. Um, we got some super awesome footage of the trains. I zoomed in on my editing software as close as I could get. Um, again, Wonderland does not want you on their property. Anything else is fair game, but do not go on Wonderland property, um, especially near trains. They obviously want to keep that stuff safe and they just want to ensure your safety um, and uh, just uh, everyone feeling more safe. Don't go on the property. <laughs> um, but aside from that, the vertical loop is taking form. It's going to be awesome. This thing should be done by the end of this week, whether cooperating um, yesterday there was a giant windstorm, so that's probably why the vertical loop isn't almost done today. Again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I think is what I was originally forecasting for the timeline. Um, they're started to clean up the construction site. You can actually see a lot of it's gone. They're cleaning up the storage area as well, which you'll see. Um, so removing all those wood crate or wood piles that they would store the track on top of the crates and everything. They're cleaning up. Um, and again, four pieces of tracks, one last support column to go up. Um, and uh, yeah, so as you can see in the bottom right side, you can actually see a new electrical unit being built near um, Backlot Stunt Coaster. So that's probably for Yukon Striker as well. Um, nothing notable on RMC Mindbuster. I'm kidding, Mindbuster. Um, but here's a super zoomed in shot of Yukon Striker's vertical loop going up. So again, one more support structure to go in and then they'll complete the last four pieces of Yukon Striker. Um, so um, you can actually also see um, what looks like a pathway. So originally I was like, oh, they're building a pathway through Timberwolf. I wonder if they're diverting um, the pathway to avoid Yukon Striker and they're going to kind of close off that area next to Yukon Striker. Um, but I don't actually think that's the case. I don't know why, but it skipped my mind that that's probably just the service road and it needs to be a little kind of dodgy now to get to Timberwolf Falls and the path will continue as normal. Um, you can see the secondary tunnel, which is going to be awesome. And here is the beautiful Yukon Striker trains all wrapped up. So I'm going to give you guys some information from what I've been seeing over the last couple of days. Um, Yukon Striker trains arrived probably not fully complete because they've been building these things slowly. So more parts have been added to the Yukon Striker trains. Um, and you can actually see all the parts in the little boxes. Um, there's three trains. The one in the middle is the lead car. The one off to the right of it is the second car. And the one on the left closest to us is the back car. You can actually see the stadium style seating from afar. Um, from here, this location, you can see the stadium style seating. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, the bumpers are all installed now. Uh, they're hiding the decals and the colors and all that from you guys and anyone because they're literally building these things and then covering up to make sure no one gets any pictures of them. Um, but, uh, yes, uh, if you look closely, you can actually see the white wheels. They're nylon wheels on Yukon Strager. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions yet because I have been one of the biggest naysayers for this thing operating during Winterfest, and I'm still going to hold strong on that. I do not think Yukon Striker is going to run during, run during Winterfest, but I do find it weird that our trains arrived at the similar timeline as Copperhead Strikes. I also find it weird that it was only one train shipped so far. 
Um, I feel like if this was just being shipped all together, it would have all come together, not just one train here. I'm expecting we could potentially, potentially, keyword potentially, see testing before the, uh, um, the end of January and maybe early February. And I'm thinking that could lead to Yukon Stricker maybe huge emphasis on maybe, again, I'm a huge naysayer of this, maybe being a winterized coaster for Canada's Wonderland in 2019 Winterfest? I have no idea. Comment down below what you guys think. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. See you soon.